Hello subscribers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. And I just got finished watching another movie that really, really scares me on a whole spiritual, another spiritual level. And this is like the third movie this year. I think something's trying to tell me something. House of Purgatory. That also sounds like my old, uh, <laughs> my old show on GTA called Cops in Purgatory. But this one is House of Purgatory. I really enjoyed this movie. This movie really freaked me out on a whole nother level. Just like the other two movies did that I've seen that, that were similar. But I like the fact that this movie has its own take on, you know, Purgatory and all that good stuff. The movie was written and directed by Tyler Christensen. Movie was, I, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story. I liked the way it was written and it went in direction. I love how the beginning comes on because the beginning starts off with, you know, these group of friends. They, they, they had a party, you know, having a Halloween party or whatever. They are everyone dressed up. And I was tripping off of the guy that was dressed up like Jack Sparrow. How he was saying, how is it that on Halloween, why can't you just be a princess? Why you got to be a slutty princess or a slutty right. <laughs> superhero? Like, why all costumes for females always got to be slutty? I, I don't, that, that's just crazy to me. But then they all was sitting around. They was talking about some things. And they're like, yeah, they were talking about haunted houses and stuff like that. We're like, yeah, that place is whack. So they end up come, um, talking about this place called the House, the House of Purgatory. And they're like, well, have you been there? He's like, no, nah, I haven't been there yet. And they're like, man, we got to find this place. I'm, I'm down to go. I think we should do this. He said, you can make money for each floor you survive. Now, think about that. If you had a friend that told you that you can make money for each floor, <laughs> you survive. Who the hell's doing it? Somebody must be seriously rich if you can make, a, you know, make money for each floor you survive. So they end up going out to find a place. And yes, they have found the place. <laughs> and it's this really creepy skeleton man he is one creepy dude like he don't need to try to be scary it's just the idea of, of, of someone sitting in a ticket booth box out the middle of nowhere like literally mm. nowhere that i mean you don't even hear a train go burn burn mm. you don't hear no 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 hoo -hoo -hoo. you don't hear nothing like so they end up talking to him and they go inside the house or whatever. You know, once they go in, he's like, this is the place. The guy is like looking at him all weird. He's like, yes, this is the place. So once they go, once they, as soon as they walk through the door, instantly like ended up going through like certain, certain dimensions. I'm not going to spoil the movie, but like I said, I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was frightening on a spiritual level because it's so weird how when people have secrets is things that they've done and I understand that you're ashamed to tell someone what you did but when you've done something extremely messed up and you don't make amends for it and then you have to deal with that on the other side that sucks because see here when you're alive you get a lot of people and suck people out but over there they're not hearing that shit <laughs> <laughs> they're not trying to hit up oh so um why did you kill John well John um stole my position at the job so that's why the fuck I killed him that's not a good excuse, you know that, right? Yeah, but John stole my job. But you, you should have just walked away and got another job and been patient enough. And things would have worked out for you. No, man, fuck that. Oh, no, fuck you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of that. But before getting any further than that, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big-ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. Like I said, guys, House of Purgatory was really good. I really enjoyed the movie. I really enjoy a story. Even though the movie... It doesn't. It doesn't have that that jump scare, but it didn't needed it because the story itself is just frightening. Just knowing that you what it puts yourself in a predicament that you don't see coming, and then you have to face things that you ran from your whole life, and and that was just frightening of how this how everything turns out. And like I said, I don't want to give nothing away. I don't want to spoil the movie, but I really enjoy it. Um, Tyler Christensen did a really good job, amazing job at writing this movie and directing this movie. And I really enjoyed the actors and the actresses as well. So check this movie out, House of Purgatory. It's awesome. Check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about House of Purgatory because I already told you what I thought about it. You know, it got my good rating. I really enjoyed it. Story was awesome. It will scare you on a whole different level. Like I said, if you got a soul, but if you soulless, then I, I can't help you with that one. <laughs> You can rent it right now on Amazon for what $3.99? Yes. And you can buy it for $7.99. Not bad, guys. And like I said, it's a really good movie. Awesome movie. I really enjoyed it. I, I'll probably watch it again. Because I really want I always like to watch something twice. It's not like when you watch something, it's always that little piece.
piece that yeah, you, you missed. missing. But like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I loved it. Like I said, spiritually, it makes you think about some things. And if you think about some things in real life, and that's this movie is crazy. And, <laughs> and to all my movie lovers, I love you.